Welcome back, everybody. It is February 4th, 2018, 8.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Very quick update for you. I've been following this system that is developing beginning around the 11th over Mississippi and Alabama. We spoke about this a few videos ago. And what I want to show you is what we've been talking about with the jet stream and this timing issue. Now, I'm going to move forward slightly here. I want you to see just how quickly this system moves from Alabama and Mississippi up into the northeast. We're talking one day here. So I'm going to move forward. This is Sunday, February 11th. The beginning of the day is right here. A couple hours later, a couple hours later. And now what I want you to focus on is this frame and this frame. This is a major, major moisture system, and what I want to show you now is a comparison. You can see the low pressure with the L right here, and when I bring up the pass from Winter Storm Hunter, you can see that low pressure was right to the east of the storm just as that was going on. Now, what we have here, once again, is all timing, and what I'm going to show you is what I've brought up on the jet stream chart. Now, this is a near surface temperature and wind chart, which basically gives you somewhat of an accurate idea of what the temperatures are going to be at that time. So once I bring this down here, I'm going to set it for the 11th. And if you match up the colors here, now we're talking a matter of hours. One way or the other will determine whether this storm is going to be massive or not. And to the looks of it, the storm that is moving up on the 11th is going to slow down a little bit. So this is what we have now. If you see the top half of New York here, is in this range of color here, which is negative 4 degrees Celsius. Now, for those of you that don't know the conversion scale, I brought it up for you right here. I'm going to put in negative 4, and you can see that is 24.8 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than cold enough for snow and ice, especially ice in these western parts of Pennsylvania and New York. But what I'm focused on here are these coastal states, um, like we spoke about in the last video. Now, again, the reason I'm talking about a timing issue here is because if this system slows down even six hours, guys, which it looks like it's been doing, a few hours ago, this system was much further out into the Atlantic Ocean, and now at this same time, 18Z on Sunday, February 11th, it has now moved about 50 miles inland um, to the northeast states. Now, once again, I'm going to bring you back to the jet stream chart, and I want to show you that our only hope for Savior in this situation right now would be if the jet stream stays like this. This is Sunday, February 11th at 12Z, which is a little bit before that system is supposed to hit the area. Now, if the system delays just six hours, this is what the difference is going to be. So right now, we are in these colors. If it's delayed just a few hours, this is what we're going to be dealing with temperature-wise. Look at these dark blue colors. This is where we are. We are near negative 12 degrees Celsius. Now, I will convert that for you again. Negative 12. That is 10 degrees. 10.4 degrees Fahrenheit all over the northeast. Guys, if this system here hits this area at negative 10, or, um, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, I should say, this is going to be a storm that is measurable to Winter Storm Hunter which people will remember was giving snow to up to ranges of four and five feet in some areas, especially near the Great Lakes. Um, higher elevation areas got close to five feet of snow. So this system here is definitely something to watch. Now there is a system that comes before that. This is the seventh into the eighth. Now, we also see a low here, so there is a slight dip in the jet stream, but from what these updated data charts are showing, is if anything happens here, it's going to be minor coastal stuff. So I will keep an eye on that. That is also why I put Liam or Mateo on the thumbnail, because the next winter storm name is Liam. The one after that would be Mateo. So if they do end up naming this, this would be Liam. But then come February 11th, guys, this is where it gets pretty serious. And just again, look how quickly this system moves from Alabama and Mississippi up into the northeast. We're talking a matter of 12 hours. We are completely covered, the northeast, in deep purple moisture. And once again, I will bring you to the jet stream chart. If this thing delays six hours, we are talking a change of temperature of about 20 degrees. This entire area will be blizzard country. 
So I will be following this very closely. I know it's halftime of the Super Bowl. Many of you will not see this video until tomorrow. Um, and by tomorrow, you may see what I'm talking about with this system having moved more to the west. And that is going to put it right where that jet stream dip is. And that will be cause for uh, a very significant snowstorm, in my opinion. So once again, if Liam is named between the 7th and 8th, that will be Winter Storm Liam. If it is not, then this will be Winter Storm Liam for sure on February 11th. If Liam is named between the 7th and the 8th, then this will be Winter Storm Mateo. All right, guys, enjoy the rest of the Super Bowl. I will talk to you all tomorrow morning. Thank you very much.